Well, welcome to Fret Not. My name is Rob. My name's Colton. Welcome to the High Gain series. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel dedicated to guitar reviews and welcome to our High Gain series. In this series, we are doing only custom made guitars. Uh, we have kind of picked 10 of what we think are some of the better, if not the best builders in the country, around the globe, from wherever. Do we, is there any builders on the moon? Uh, not yet, but I think Elon's working on that. Well, there is that moon guitars. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I digress. Um, so this week, first of all, thank you everybody for all the support, the messages. We've just been getting a lot of DMs. Uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we do this stuff for you guys. We don't have any monetary. We're not sponsored, nothing. We just, we got to thinking and we thought, what's the process like of buying a custom guitar as opposed to going to a guitar shop and just buying something off the rack? And when we ordered our first one, it was such a different way to buy a guitar. And I'm not going to lie, I was really scared because I wasn't touching the guitar and I'm giving them a ton of money. Right. But um, it really worked out great. And so we thought we would dedicate this channel in this series to kind of showing you the process of what happens with all these builders, tell you which ones we think are fantastic. And if our motto is, is if it sucks, we will tell you. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. We, yep, got, so no, far. we got no suckies. Not yet. So this week is all about one guitar and this is a builder from canada and the name of the company is lacello guitars um we're going to get into the specs in a little bit colton's going to let you hear something in the mix on this one um this guy just knocked it out of the park he did it really quick please don't call him and tell him he's got to build you one fast Builders have to build at their own time frame. Um, nobody knew we were doing reviews. We're just customers just like you, and we did haggle price, blah, 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 blah. We were able to pick all of our uh, appointments on these guitars and kind of decide what goes where and what we wanted in order to kind of achieve the sound we wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy just, not saying any builder is better than any other builder, but this guy just knocked it out of the park in a really fast time frame. Maybe he just had more time on his hands. Um, I don't know, but he did us an amazing job. And I didn't tell you, I mean, I have told you, but I have to tell the, uh, the audience, I lied. I told everybody we weren't buying two guitars from the same person. Oh, oh. But if you watch episode three, you already know yeah. that uh, we were already talking to Ashwood. <laughs> we're already talking to Rykard about getting another one. And I've already commissioned another one from this guy. And you will see it. It's going to be a completely different setup. I like what we've been doing. Um, but a lot of people buy guitars like the one we're having made. So maybe it will appeal to somebody else. Um, we have got some comments this week. People suggesting other guitars for us to review and so far one of the more popular ones was a Kiesel. Nice. And for your information, I was on there today mm -hmm. looking and I really don't want to do the 12, 14 weeks on the buy from Kiesel. So what I'm going to do in this series or after this series, when we go on to some, some other type of guitar, the second one pops up on that builder that's already built that fits what we like we're going to snatch it, and we're going to review it. Yep. Uh, we really believe it's going to be a good guitar, uh, but I've heard a ton of great stuff about them. I haven't put my hands on one. I've been really close, but hadn't touched one. Then you hear some of the horror stories, um, but you hear that about everybody. So that's what we're here for is to show you the process and how to get over that fear of buying a guitar without putting your hands on it. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the LaCello? Um, again, I like it. I like it a lot. It, in my opinion, is so far, I think it's the lightest one. Yep. Um, which is a little surprising to me, you know, considering what it's made out of. But, you know, again, maybe I'm just not that well educated on wood types and, and their weights. It, is, it is a mahogany back, and that's mm -hmm. a big, thick slab of mahogany. But he does have a lot of cutaways on it, so yeah. that helps lighten <clears throat> up some. Mm -hmm. um, but it it plays really smooth, just and and in, in terms of you know string to fret, it's just smooth. So I liken this guitar. I'd never touched a Lacello, didn't even know who they were. 
was by happenstance I ran across them. But I liken this to, and I'm not comparing them. Please don't hit me in the IM, the DMs with Optica. But I liken this to a Kiesel because to me, this is kind of in that same price point. It's a very good price on this guitar. Now, this guy can build you four, five, six thousand dollar guitar if you want to, but these guitars, uh, I mean, they're very good priced compared to, to some, um, but picking it up the first time, man, I was like, I ordered a guitar from some unknown in Canada. I ain't no <laughs> telling what I'm getting. And I, I kept telling myself in the, you know, the time frame it took, I'm like, it's for the show. It's for the show. It's for the show. Dude, you need to go check this guy out. Yeah. They're, um, they're really he does nice. a lot more aggressive than this. This was one he had built for, or was building for himself. And, you know, me being me, this is like the second or third from the builders. I've snuck in there and went, hey, man, why don't you just sell that one to me? Yeah, let me just, let me do it my, let me for me. One. Let me do it for me. So usually, you know, sometimes that works and you might want to try that. If you say, hey, you got anything available? And they're like, no, we don't have anything available. We're doing a run, but they're all sold. Just good possibility. One of them is the owners. Mm -hmm. And this makes the third guitar I've gotten that way. Um, still got a you know, a couple months wait in there, but not as bad as that backlog six month stuff, maybe a year stuff. So um, I am super stoked about right. this guitar for a couple of reasons. A, um, because it is, it is not my norm. My norm is highly polished. The most crazy stuff you can get on it. The <laughs> brighter colors. You know what I mean? I want it to be psycho. Mm -hmm. And I usually don't buy wood colored guitars, man. I just I just don't. I mean, I played them when I was younger. I saw that. And I called him immediately. And just so you know, all these builders, if you catch them on Facebook, you just call them on Facebook. It's free. That's what I did. I just called him up on Facebook. And he's like, hello. <laughs> I was like, you don't know me? I'm in America. I need to buy a guitar. Right. So anyway, the neck on this, the neck joint, the pickups, the tuners, the tone, the the build quality. Look at that. Just stack. um, and that <laughs> that Lacello engraved, they're amazing, mm -hmm. man. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get into the specs. Then we're going to, uh, it's Colton's gig this week. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We're going to get into the specs. And then Colton's going to put you something in the mix so you can hear it. When we come out of that, we're going to talk about how we feel about how the guitar plays, how it's built, and see if it's worth the money and the time frame to get it. And if you're real good, we might even show you, if you hang out, we might even show you what we're doing next week. This is our number four, just so everybody knows. We're going to do five. We're going to do an intermediate where we're going to go back and we're going to do them first five and just little quick deals to kind of keep everybody up to date, how we feel about those five, and then we'll go to six. And hopefully that the one in between five and six, we'll try to put out and we try to put out everything on Thursdays. Just so if you hadn't caught on yet, these videos come out on Thursdays. So maybe what we'll do is after we put out the fifth on Thursday, maybe if everything works right with work and stuff, maybe we'll try to get that in, out in that weekend between the Thursday and the next Thursday. Kind of like a little catch-up video. Like, yeah, hey, if you're just, just finding us, this is like a good little recap. And I had a guy who jumped on there today, smell love your channel. He said, I just ran across you by accident. Thank God for <laughs> suggestions from YouTube. He goes, it's amazing. So nice. that's why we do it. <clears throat> everybody, and I'm, I'm nobody, he's nobody, but everybody doesn't have the ability to just go buy a custom guitar and throw money to the wind and hope it comes back good. That's why we preach do your research. There's so much about these builders, unless they just started last week, and if they just started last week, you might want to wait yeah. until there's some some solid stuff to prove. You know, and you can you can get on, you can find videos, you can uh, Reddit's full of stuff. You can talk to people, and people will be brutally honest with you about what they bought. Mm -hmm. If they spent their hard earned money, very few of them, unless they're getting paid, are going to juice it up. Yeah, I they're going to tell you the truth. You know, the average person might have to save for so long. And then when you're, you know, you got a nice chunk of change saved up and you want to get something like this, but you can't put your hands on it but first. Wouldn't that suck if you saved all that time and you rolled the dice on one and you got it and you could have probably went and ordered one off eBay quicker right. <laughs> <laughs> for a tenth the money? Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to get out of here. We're coming right back at you, and we're going to do all the specs on this guitar. Y'all just hang in there. Okay, we're back. So we are talking about the Lacello guitars. We're going to put a link in the description at the bottom. Um, I found this dude. actually found him on Facebook by accident. Uh, we message each other. He does have an IG. Um, very laid back, very cool dude. Um, I gave him crap all winter because he's in Canada and the weather's horrible. <laughs> and he's like, where do you live? And I'm like, well, it's like 80 degrees, brother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so he messaged me the other day and we were talking about this other build and he was like, uh, I was like, what's the weather? He's like 12. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to tell you what the weather is like where I'm at. All right, so what we're going to have here is we're going to have a flamed maple cap. And he did this kind of in a natural, but what, what really got my attention as much as I don't like really wood tone guitars is the black and the flame. Because he put a um, ebony cap, and I usually like my, my cap to match the headstock. It's kind of a pet peeve. Maybe I'm anal. I don't know. But because that black is in here, and then that's black there, and then we got that Pale Moon Ebony running up the fretboard, man, it just really makes this guitar stand out. Um, how do you feel about the, those are jumbo stainless steel frets. How do you feel about them? They play really good. I'm, that's what I like to play on. You like, you yeah. don't, so you, do, you, do you ever notice the difference between like a medium jumbo and a jumbo? Um... Maybe, honestly, maybe if I was told. <laughs> so where, I, and I am not an aficionado, but where I see the difference is um, when the strings are, when the action is really, really low, mm -hmm. you can feel the difference that your fret is not as tall. See. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, your fret, if your strings are that far off the neck, it mm -hmm. doesn't really matter what it is. But when they get low, I, I prefer jumbos too. Yeah. So when I ordered this guitar, he gave me this whole spec sheet. We changed some stuff up. We did some stuff. He goes, man, I got a set of... He goes, you like bare knuckle pickups? I said, man, I love them. They're, you know, they're, I hate to say they're my favorite because I'm supposed to be unbiased, but um, yeah, I have a lot of bare knuckles. Everybody likes what they like. Yeah. Um, but he said, I got some bare knuckle brute forces. <clears throat> I never heard them. I jumped online and maybe it was the video because it was just a random person's video. Whatever it was, I didn't really care for the tone. And I said, I, you know, I'd like to have that guitar, but I really, and usually you can't tell a builder if he's already trying to work on something and he's already ordered something. And he goes, well, man, I'll put you some Lundgrens in there. And I'm like, bet, put me some Lundgrens in there. So these are M6s. Uh, if you don't know anything about Lundgren pickups, very, very aggressive, very high gain oriented. Um, they do clean up pretty good. Mm -hmm. We don't do clean on this channel. <laughs> A very mean, nasty pickup, um, and um, I've played the M6s, and uh, we also have another guitar we're reviewing with the Black Heavens in them, and I really can't tell you which one I like the most. They're really both just really good at what they do, but they're just angry. That's mm -hmm. why I like them. Yeah. So we got hip shot locking tuners, and we got open gear tuners with that little bit of gold in them. Makes it look really nice up there. I usually don't like gold. If you look at the back of the neck, it is flamed. Um, and even the, even the strips in here are flamed. Man, this guy just knocks it out of the park. Check out that neck joint. You can see that good. I, I, I really wish you could. But that is as smooth as, I hate to keep saying butter. We have a lot of butter stuff. Butter just there. works. But man, this guitar is just utterly perfection, and I love how you did the, uh, uh, the for your equipment back here. Mm -hmm. Just the electronics that just looks amazing. And if you buy a guitar from this guy, you get this very cool little cutout with his L in it. And mm -hmm. it's a little I'm talking way too much because we're getting to the mix. But when I we were first ordering this, we were just playing around. I was talking. We were joking. It was late at one night. He goes, "I'm gonna show you something." So he sent me a picture. And he's got another guitar. And he ended up keeping it for himself. Oh. But his CNC machine that does the logo mm -hmm. printed it upside down. Oh. <laughs> or he didn't know how to do it right or whatever. You upside know what I mean? I don't or, know. Or like it flipped. But it. Yeah, but it was flipped. And he goes, man, 
He goes, I was going to sell this one, but I can't sell this because it's upside down. I'm like, bet, sell me that one because mm -hmm. that's a collector's item. You yeah, know? it's a misprint. Right? <laughs> so anyway, I ended up not getting it because I really wanted this guitar. And I just, uh, I've been talking for 10 minutes and I know you want to hear it in the mix. Cannot say enough good stuff about this guy. Didn't have a clue who he was. Since that time, I've kind of followed him on Facebook. He does do IG, but honestly, he has a bigger presence on Facebook. Uh, man, there's a ton of ton of bands and they may be local or they may be spread out i don't know all of them but there's a lot of bands that just really breathe what this guy makes a lot of people play these guitars and um when we come back after the mix we're going to talk a little bit about price and kind of what it took to get it made and all of that um you've played obviously for quite a while everything we got in that rack i mean how does it rate um, I would, man, it's hard. It's hard. When, <laughs> now, if we had a rack of mix match guitars, it'd mm -hmm. be easy to pick the good one, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it would. But we put all of these upper echelon right on top of each other, and we're like, which which one, which one, which one? It's hard to pick, the, like, which beast is the most ferocious. So for there's, me. and I'm not, tr it really please, is. there's no sponsorship, but there's some days I'm just Reichardt all day long. Yeah. <laughs> and there's other days I come in, and I'm like, man, give me that Ashwood, give me that seven string, give me that beast. And then I'll get kind of, you know, in a, in a different mood and I'll grab that arms beat. Oops, I shouldn't have told you that because that's coming up in a review. <laughs> um, man, we have so much good stuff. Um, and we have a good story with each one, I believe. So yeah. uh, we've made really good friendships with all these builders. And like I said, nobody knew we ever was going to do anything on YouTube. We bought all this stuff. We kind of ordered it all within, we say, within about a month of each other. Just about, yeah. Some of it came in faster, mm -hmm. and we still have two that are out there in the ether somewhere, uh, and one of them is another one of these. And, man, I've been talking a lot. So check it out. When I started this, it wasn't to do YouTube. It wasn't to do anything. You know what it was to do was to buy a white guitar because I hadn't had one in like 15 years, and I just wanted a white guitar. And no matter where I looked, I couldn't find a white guitar. And then when I started, and that was just like, you know, that that I wanted. Then I started looking at custom builders and I'm like, they're going to get mad <laughs> if I tell them their precious wood to paint mm -hmm. over it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that nice fancy so wood. I just want I, it solid white. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I just want solid white. And he's like, why would you make that solid white? You know how much that wood costs? So anyway, I didn't get one. I ended up ordering 10 guitars, custom guitars. Ain't none of them white. But we got this one probably second or third in the line of when things were coming in. And I'm just stupid impressed with the build quality, the performance of the guitar, the price of the guitar. And I got to thinking about it and I said, you know what, man, you need to make me a white guitar. So we got a surprise coming for you. And it's kind of a little special guitar. Um, he did something really nice for us. And, uh, I think you're going to like it, but now it's time to shut up and hear that thing in the mix. Yep.
Okay, you heard something in the mix. Hope it sounds good. A, we are not professionals, which you can tell. B, uh, we do everything off of a kind of a smaller scale on, on studio-wise. We are currently recording in a room, bedroom, as opposed to a studio that may be coming here in the next few months. I'm working on something. Um, but hopefully it gives you enough of what the guitar tone is. Um, if you're a follower of the channel, I got to give you all the disclaimers. Uh, we use one patch for every guitar. Mm -hmm. Doesn't change EQ, nothing. Just trying to give you, once we get all this done, you should be able to go get clips of each one. Hear the exact same, you know, setup through different guitars. And, in, and maybe that'll help kind of push you one direction or another. It gives you a good base to, you know, to understand what each guitar sounds like, kind of not, I don't want to say naturally, but when you're playing it through the same effect, each guitar, that's going to be its sound, you know? It is. And, you know, we have seven strings, we have a baritone, and we have a bunch of six strings. And I could make any one of those sound better than any one of the others mm -hmm. by changing EQ and, and, and diff different patches. So we're just running a straight. Um, it's a um, probably a 5150 or it's probably a 5150 patch that somebody created and we use the neural DSP, use the quad cortex for everything. Uh, so it's just a standard patch you can get. It's preset. We ain't touched it. We don't need to it. It works good for pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. All right. So took me a couple months to get this from talking to him the first time, which is really good in the custom builder world. Mm -hmm. Um, Price point on this is going to be somewhere around somewhere around twenty five hundred dollars US. Now it's going to come across as Canadian because he's in Canada, but it works out to about twenty five hundred dollars US. But I challenge you to go get an Ibanez in that price range. I challenge you to go get a Jackson in that price range. And we know neither one of those are made; those are made on you know factory lines. Um, but you're not going to find anything that plays and feels like a $5,000 guitar for $2,500, and it's hand-built by one human being, so his world is based off that logo. And it's unique to you. Yeah, and that's another thing. I mean, like, if this guy gets a bad deal, I could just train wreck his deal because it's just him. If it's a bad Ibanez, well, you know, I guess in Malaysia or wherever they did it, you know, they screwed up on the line. Or yeah. QC didn't catch it. Ibanez will just catch the next customer. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the thing I love about these guys. Everybody that we've been to, the one thing that rings true, no matter if they speak English or not, and some of them we have to use translators on, it's kind of hilarious, but dude, their heart and soul are poured into these guitars. And when that guitar leaves them, it's like a kid leaving. And they're building multiple of these, but they're doing all this by hand. Yes, they may use some tools. Some of them may even have a little bit of CNC. I don't know. I don't ask. But I know a lot of these guitars, man, are one-man shows. Mm -hmm. They're taking them from inception, and they're, you know, taking the Rykart. I called Rykart, and I said, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know. I said, this is where I want it to end up. And I said, I want this, 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 and this. And I'm like, can you do that? And he's like, yeah. And he just ran with it, and he made the Rykart. Same thing with the Ashwood. When we started the Ashwood, they had started that guitar, but it was at the very conception, and you know, I was able to go through each step and tell them what I wanted. If it needed to be polished here, if it needed more of this, if it needed more of that. That's amazing when you get that final product and you helped. I can't build nothing, dude. I, I, can't, I can't build. build. I can't build nothing. But I feel like I helped build these because you know, I, I kind of, I don't have the talent those guys do, but I kind of walked through it with them. Mm -hmm. um, tell everybody. How you feel about it. Would you be comfortable jumping around on stage with that thing? Oh, absolutely. It's light, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never done a whole set, but I feel like I could do a whole set with this guitar. <laughs> well, you've done a whole set. No matter how long or well, short it was, yeah. you've done a whole set. Mm -hmm. It may just not have been a long set. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, man, we want to thank everybody. We've been getting a lot of private messages. I know the channel's small. This is a genre that we knew wasn't going to be 5 million <laughs> views. How many people out there are looking for custom guitars? I mean, there's there's a lot of us, but we occupy a very small percentage of you know YouTube and stuff. So we knew this wasn't going to be a, a major windfall or nothing on this, but we're trying to do this 
to let people see that um, you can do this. I don't have a vendetta. Do you have a vendetta against big builders? No, I don't. I have a couple big builder guitars. I own a PRS. I've owned Jackson. I've owned Fenders. I've owned ESPs. I've owned everything, and I'm not mad at them. Mm -mm. I just... I see their guitars. I spend $2,500, $3,000, dollars on a guitar. It is the most amazing thing I've ever seen online. And I get it. And it's good. Just kind of feels cookie cutter. Yeah. Maybe that's just, harsh. I don't know. And it's it just don't feel like um, you lose a little bit of the luster to me. Now, maybe it's because I'm not buying a $10,000 less Could ball. Be. I don't yeah. know. Could be. But... They're standard 22,000, 3,500 in that range guitars. They just very rarely. And I had, I had a guy tell me one time, he's like, sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. And I'm like, <laughs> well, how do you do that? He goes, well, sometimes, the, you know, maybe the QC wasn't that good that day. Yeah, you know, kind of fell asleep. The good thing about this, you know, all this time, I have another uh, acquaintance online that does these reviews. I have a couple of them, but... I have another acquaintance and he ordered, I think he paid about four grand for a guitar and he ordered from a bunch of companies like we did to kind of have a compilation of guitars. And one of the companies that he paid some of the highest for, he was just not happy with the guitar when he got it. I'm not going to say their name, but it is not one we have. And it took months going back and forth with them to fix stuff. And it was pure quality control. And I'm like, how? And, and, I don't know anything about them, so I'm not going to give you any hints. But, I mean, I, I think there's, you know, it's it's definitely not a one-man show, and it's definitely not a two-man show, you know. Um, so I think the more people that get involved, I think the more chances you have of just getting a meh guitar. Could be. A lot of hands are being put on it, you know. And, you know, when you get somebody that's built, you get somebody like Happus. You get somebody like Reichardt. You get somebody like Ashwood. I, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to keep saying names because then you'll figure out what we're doing next. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just saying the stuff we've done. But uh, you get LaCello, and you know when you see this and you touch it, it tells you this didn't come off no line. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of soul in that guitar. Everything, all the cuts, everything on it is, is, milk, is meant for a player because I have yet to buy a guitar. We've yet to buy one from a builder. It doesn't pretty much play the same music, if not harder than what we play. Yeah. That's what you get with the high gain series. You get you get metal, you know, metal builders. Mm -hmm. So all right. So price point on this, like I said, is somewhere around twenty five hundred dollars. Um, talk to him. He's a really nice guy. Um, and if he's got time or whatever, man, he'll build you a monster. Go on his Facebook page, it's Lacello. You can just type Lacello. Should be the only thing that comes up on Facebook for it. Bunch of videos on there of different people playing it, different bands, different customers. Um, if the world knew about this guy, there'd be a ton more Lacellos. I promise you that. Because this guy builds a really, really mean guitar, and it just it just feels like a million bucks. And all of the little ins and outs on it are, are really good. There's nothing cheap on it. He didn't skimmish on nothing. And, like, you know... Everything he builds, it's a part of him that leaves. Mm -hmm. um, well, what do we have left to talk about since we have wasted a lot of these people's time? Hand me that one. God, this thing feels so good. Look at the look at that neck. Mm -hmm. And grab this time. Actually, grab the Mayones. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little uh, blooper at one time on this guitar, so there you go. Yeah. So if you hang out, our next video that's coming up is on this baby. Now, you might go, Aonis is a big company. Well, they're a custom builder. And yeah, you can go down for a couple grand, maybe 25. These, these guitars are high, no matter if they make 50 of the same one or not. This guitar, um, I got super lucky on. I was on their site. They had one almost identical to this. My finger, they're in Poland. My finger was on the trigger and something happened at my house and I had to get off the internet, blah, 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 blah. Came back and my friend, which I've become friends with over the internet, don't really know him, 
um, at Palin Music out of Saint, out of Missouri. They, I think they have multiple stores all over the place. But the guy I talked to is in uh, his name's Nash. I talked to him in, in Missouri, and it had just come in. I looked on his site and I'm like, what? It was just in Poland. And then I looked at it and it was a little bit different. And I was like, dude, I called him. I'm like, man, I was just about to buy that from my owners. He goes, man, we just got it in. He said, isn't that thing sick? And I said, yeah. And I'm like, what do you want for it? So he told me. And I was like, you know, that's a really good price. I don't have to wait on shipping to come across these. I don't have to pay the government when it comes in. Um, that's a really good price. So I paid him and told him to box it up and send it to me. And just wait till next week. That's mm -hmm. a... You know, some people say a tiger by the tail. That's a freaking monster right there. Yeah. We're not going to tell you any more else about it because uh, we, we've talked too much of it and give it away now. But you, you're going to see that one next week. So do yourself a favor. Check this guy out, man. This is amazing. And I hate to talk bad about anybody, and I refuse to downgrade anybody. But I am so glad that some of the bigger builders who were in my queue to buy when I bought this, I am so happy that I trusted LaCello to build this. Because, dude, this is, a, this is a forever guitar. And just everything on it is meticulous, man. Mm -hmm. All the little curves, everything is just so butter smooth. And it plays like a dream. And those Lundgrens really help too, man. Yeah. They're 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 pissed off. I mean, you, you know, I like to com comment on like the aesthetic of the of the guitar, I, and I do really like that one. It, like the fretboard, just, it's amazing the way it just meshes and matches with with the. Body. I know, and he just he did such a good job on that, giving us that uh, pale moon ebony with that mm -hmm. black in here, and it just runs all the way down the neck, gets to that headstock, and it's all black, and our tuners are black. Just did a really good job on this guitar and then Black Lundgren's and the hip shot really helping out. So yeah. thanks everybody for watching. Um, we probably wasted a whole lot of your time just talking about BS, but hey, we don't get paid for this crap. So yeah, just uh, the very fact that you came back and, and watched it with right? us. Right. You know? Hopefully you learned a little something. Hopefully you should have, if you took notice, you should have found you a new builder, man. And if you can't afford to buy a new guitar one of these guitars go to this guy's page man check out his stuff give him a like um you know who knows maybe here in the future maybe you will be able to um the amount of people it won't it i mean it won't take long just a few people get their hands on these and see what these are uh th this is a very well constructed guitar and all of his work man i still Seen a couple of other builders do this type of a neck joint, but man, it just amazes me how well they do that. Yeah, it's really it's just flush. And check it out. If you buy one of these, you get that nifty little logo mm -hmm. that nobody else has got. I just think that's cool. I still yeah. wanted the one that was upside down, though. Yeah, I that would that be nice really, to have. That's really cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like our channel. Please share our content. Um, we've got six more guitars, including that one in this series. We've got a whole nother series coming up for you. If you like this series, we're not going to like freak out and start reviewing violins. Yeah. I mean, I want a violin though. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be in the same line, but we, we, you know, we may be moving over and kind of getting out of the custom guitars for a little bit. Um, we're probably not going to waste your time reviewing big box guitars. Because I could probably order 10 from any of the big names and we could probably review all 10 and there'd be at least two or three of them different. So yeah. we already know that. We all play those. We all understand that. So we're going to do something different. Hey, we might do an entry-level metal guitar. That would be pretty nice. Or we could do the Tame the Beast into a clean channel. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm not big on clean. <laughs> There's some pretty <laughs> nice stuff. Some of these do... They clean up pretty nice. Hey, and you know, amazing enough as it is, none of these are built to play clean. They're all just pissed off in me. Yeah, they're all and just ready to And there's a few of them that are just gorgeous Yeah, in clean tones. And mm -hmm. that really freaked me out. I figured, you know, I had an ESP one time, a long time ago, just a custom shop ESP. I think it was at the start of kind of the big push of the, um, what's the active pickups? Um, 
EMGs. EMGs, EMGs, yeah. Right when they first started pushing those, I'm not saying it was at the start, but right when they first started, ESP and EMG kind of locked up horns and stuff. And you just couldn't tame that guitar. Mm-hmm. And if I, I would pretty much just have to swap the guitar out to get something clean out of it because it yeah. was just so pissy. And yeah. if you got it clean, it didn't sound right. Mm-hmm. It yeah, just had, it, it was just so. It wanted to be dirty. Yeah. So I ended up getting rid of that guitar after a while because it was just kind of a one trick pony. And most of these, man, we you can just do anything with them. So, but we haven't tried to play chicken picking a country. No, not so yet. So we can't tell you about that. Part. It won't be from me. Yeah, it ain't gonna be from you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching episode four. Uh, Fret not. Just a couple weird dudes that happen to have a bunch of, you know, custom made guitars. We're going to tell you all about them. Yeah. So until next time. Stay tuned. <laughs>